Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Teller Dev Call. Today is August 19, 2024, and it's uh, the, a week after we finally opened our testnet to the public. We've gotten a lot of really good questions. A lot of people have already started trying our documentation, becoming test validators, and helping us improve upon it. Um, Spotty did a really good public announcement last week. Like this is a testnet, there's not gonna be an airdrop, but I really love the way that he put into, into words what we're trying to do here without going super te technical. And basically we want our expert reporters to become expert validators and all the expert validators that are coming in from the broader ecosystem to become expert reporters. So this is a learning curve for everybody and we understand that. So if you guys have any questions and really, you know, if you are serious about becoming part of the community, come and test with us and ask us as many questions as, as you need to ask us to become proficient in running your validators and your reporters. Anyway, with that, we're continuing uh, updates this week. We're gonna be um, doing a small update later on in the week, testing our processes and and our in our documentation and with that let's get started with uh spuddy what are you up to this week um i'm going to be trying to support everyone who's running a testnet validator reporter node whichever version you want to run uh getting a lot of questions from the reporters about being cosmos validators because it is hard it's like this whole area of expertise and then we had like how many i don't know how many validators we have now from the greater like cosmos validator ecosystem uh but these these guys were crazy and it was awesome to see them come in <laughs> like we're like we have this crazy we have this brand new very early test net and then all these validators come in and they're like oh i got it running here you go i'm like man i'm not even that good at running it yet but that was it was great to see you guys come in all the validators from cosmos community uh teller has a little bit more going on than uh a lot of maybe i don't know other chains have different things that validators have to do also but with teller you have to be a reporter also for maximum profit so they're probably going to want to do that so yeah uh cosmo visor is next we had an upgrade last week and uh cosmo visor helps with upgrades because you can just put the correct binary in a folder that you want to upgrade to. And then when it's time to do the upgrade, it just looks for that binary and starts the node with that. It runs the node with that binary instead at the right time for you. So we're going to get that in the docs. I'm going to get that in the docs. And that's what I'm doing today. Thank you, Spuddy. It'll make our next update super easy. Um, the next update, just so that everybody is aware, it's basically we're implementing a minimum gas fee across for the chain. We're just testing it. Um, it's going to be really small, but we want to make sure that we test our processes as well. Um, Ryan, any updates? I, I, I'm really happy to see the bridge up and working, and it looks very pretty. Thank you. Had some help for your design uh, suggestions. Um, yeah, I just, there was just a couple of UX things I wanted to tweak and then we can get that thing up um, so that for anybody listening, this is the page that you can essentially uh, mint TRB on the Sepolia network uh, from the faucet and bridge it over to layer uh, to your teller address um, so you can start validating and reporting. And for the bridge, it is quite slow. So if you're gonna bridge over from Sepolia, you have to wait 12 hours for you to be able to claim those tokens over in layer. So get started if you if you are bridging tokens. Otherwise, you can also contact uh, Spuddy or Caleb for them to give you some uh, tokens on chain. But please test our, our bridge. It's just good practice because that's basically how you're gonna be getting tokens on layer. Um, Caleb, how are you doing? Good. Um, I'm going to be getting the Comet BFT um, Prometheus server set up so that we can get more metrics like block time and stuff like that. Um, still trying to figure out the Grafana stuff. It's kind of weird. Um, like I have, 
I have the application metrics being collected. Um, I've actually gone through and added a lot more of them that will be collected. Um, so I'm just trying to kind of find a way to visualize all of the data that I now have access to and then how to actually work with that inside of Grafana because I've never used Grafana before. Um, but I have added, I think, probably like 15 to 20 more metrics across like different functions like submit value for what so we're going to be tracking like how often certain query ids are submitted so that maybe if there's one not on the cycle list that's reported all the time maybe or i should say it's queried all the time and people want it maybe we update the checklist the cycle list and stuff like that um but yeah and then i'm just gonna be working mostly on metrics this this week thanks caleb so um, aside from obviously testing the functionality, making sure the community becomes educated and learns about becoming validators and reporters, one of the main things of running the, the testnet is to get all of these metrics um, implemented so that we can actually or eventually optimize based on that. And so this is super important. Thanks, Caleb. Um, Dan, you've been working on finalizing our tests for the Vote extensions. Vote, vote extensions are a new feature for the Cosmos SDK, and so we've really testing it thoroughly. And Dan has been working on this for a while now. And how are you doing there? And uh, is everything moving along smoothly? Yeah, yeah, it's going well. I'm about three quarters of the way of the way through it. So. Right. And I did merge your PR last week. So it should be part of the update. Um, not that it has any effect on how the chain runs, but just so that everything is in one branch. And then Mike, uh, today you scheduled our uh, Twitter space. Super excited about that. And I hope the community is too. Do you need anything from us? Is there anything that, you know, as, not just a Twitter space, but anything else that you need for us in, in terms of uh, press releases and stuff, marketing? Oh, well, yeah, there's a, a lot of um, a lot of stuff I want to go over with you offline uh, marketing wise um, to uh, spread the word about the, the layer launch over the next quarter. Um, had a lot of great conversations over the last few days, and I, I still have another meeting with uh, a big a, a big name. I know we're recording, so I don't want to just throw out names, but uh, lots to talk about there. And yeah, the Twitter space. Uh, if you're watching this, the Twitter space will probably have already happened, but uh, yeah, we're going to do um, our first space about the Layer Testnet launch. We're going to discuss what it is, who it's for, and how you can get involved and and give you guys a chance to to speak with us one-on-one um, -on -one if you so choose. So um, we'll record it uh, and, um, and then share it uh, in our community for those that can't make it, because I know that this is kind of a, a global project that we're working on in many different time zones out there and it's hard to honestly it's really hard for us to decide like what time zone to to pick to do these things so you guys can join but we you know we do our best kind of have to just do what works best for our team to be able to be there and then record and then hope you guys can uh just ping us offline we you know we do our best to just be available all the time in the discord anyway so um Anyway, hope to see you guys on there. And if not, uh, we'll see you guys in the chat. Right. Well, did we get any questions, Ryan? I did not see any questions. Awesome. Um, well, I guess this is it for today. Oh, we'll see you guys next week. And we'll talk to you guys at 2 p.m. today.